In today's video tutorial, we are going to learn three things. How to create another activity, how to navigate from one activity to another, and how to change the default launch screen in Android Studio. So let's start our video. As you can see, I have already started an application. You can see the main activity.java and its XML code is here. I have already done a little bit designing in XML part. You can check the previous tutorials to know how to design in XML part. Here, what I have done is given a background color and dragged a button, given name as screen1 and ID as button1. And in the Java part, I have given button btn1 and in on create initialize the button btn1 equals in bracket button find view by id r dot id dot button1 have already done this much just to enter directly into today's topic so the next step is how to create another activity for that right click on the package name click on new select activity and select empty activity in the widget named android activity change the activity name here i am giving second screen then click on finish uh, as you can see java part named second screen and an xml part for that activity named as activity underscore second underscore screen dot xml is created by android studio I'm quickly giving the screen a green color just to differentiate while running this app. Okay, now the next step is how to navigate from one activity to another. For that, we will use a function called start activity. So let's see where we will call that and how will we do that. You have seen a button is created in this activity. So on click of that button, we will call the other activity. So let's write the code for that. btn one dot set on click listener in bracket new view dot on click listener. And this will override a function on click. Inside that function, we will write the code to call another activity. For that, first create an indent, then initialize that indent, give the context as main activity dot this, and then the class we want to open. We can also make this code a simple line code as follows. Now we'll call the function start activity by passing argument as intent. Now we can run the application. When click on the button named screen1, it will go to the next screen. When you click on the back button, we'll go back to the first screen. We can make this code even shorter as follows. It's not mandatory but just to show you another possibility. The next thing we need to check in this tutorial is how to change the launch screen. For that, open Android manifest.xml. There are two activities in Android manifest, second screen and main activity. In main activity, you can see the intent filter which specifies this activity is the launcher. To change the launch activity, cut this code and paste it in second screen activity. Now, when you run your application, you can see the second activity. So this was today's video tutorial. I hope you all like this tutorial. If you are new to this channel, please click on the subscribe button. We'll come up with the next video. Thanks for watching.